Hi everyone, welcome back to Golf with Michelle. We all know that body rotation plays a big role in a golf swing. I do have a video that actually shows you how the bo body rotates correctly in a golf swing. But today I'll be focusing on some exercises that actually will help you to rotate better. Because I do get some comments and questions from people asking that, I know how the body should be working, but my body just won't listen to me. So today I'll be focusing on a few exercises that I think is really important and that will help you to rotate better. So let's get started. There's a few parts of our body that plays a big role in a good body rotation. I'm gonna start off with our neck, okay? So I got a question for you guys. When we're taking our backswing, where is our neck actually turned, okay? So the answer is we're actually turning left, all right? Why? It's because when I take my backswing, okay? If I'm even gonna keep my chin over here, I'm gonna look up and I'm gonna turn my neck is actually turned towards the left side. Okay, so some of us with stiff neck problem might have a problem turning left or turning right. So if you have that problem, we might have short back swing problem, lifting our arms problem, or trying to arch our back to achieve a good, our good back swing position. So if we do that, we're actually not rotating properly. So there's an exercise that I would like for you to do. You can do it anywhere before you sleep, before you play, or do it anywhere you can, okay? It's just really simple. We don't need any equipment. We're gonna start off with just trying to stretch our neck, okay? So we're gonna start off with looking up and dip back, up and back, up and back. You can do it about 10 times, and then we're gonna move looking down, back to center, looking down, back to center, looking down, back to center. And then to the left, back. Just make sure you keep breathing while you're stretching, okay? Okay, I'm just doing it three times on each side. Now to the right side. Just try to do it as many times as you can. It's nothing, there's nothing wrong if you do extra, okay? So after these four angles, we're gonna move about uh, 45 degree. I would like for you to look down to your left shoulder, and then look up, left shoulder, look up, and then we're gonna switch around. Right shoulder, look up. Right shoulder, look up. This simple exercise will be able to help you loosen up your neck and will be able to help you rotate your upper body better. Next, I'll be talking about our upper body and lower body. We all know that our upper body and lower body should be able to separate pretty well in order to create a good sequence in a downswing or even a backswing. But before that, I'm gonna start with telling you or showing you some problems that might, you might find in a golf swing if you don't have a good upper body and lower body rotation. So number one, you might find yourself with a really flat backswing, okay? Or again, losing spine angle on both sides. Or you might start swaying to the right side on your backswing and then sliding to the left side on your downswing. So I'm gonna get started with our upper body exercise first, okay? So upper body, first exercise will be, I would like for you to hold on to your seven iron both elbows point down. Why I say both elbows point down is because I would like for you to rotate this way, but if you have your palms pointing down, palms pointing down like that, you'll be able to bend your elbows, all right? So we don't want that. So palms up, elbow down, okay? You can grip any club you want, stance belt, shoulder width, all right? From here, try to keep the lower body quiet, rotate the upper body, all right? I'm sure the hips will turn as well, but let's try to focus more on our upper body. You can do it about 20 times, anytime, anywhere, okay? So that will be a stretch. And then next, I would like for you to, um, to go without your club, all right? Cross your arms, okay? I would like for you to put your right foot, just tiptoe on your right foot like this, all right? And then just focus on upper body turn. Get into a golf swing position, all right? One foot, one foot back, rotate. Just focus on the upper body rotation. Try to keep the spine angle. Keep your head centered. As you can see, when I'm doing this, now I'm gonna switch leg. When I do this, when I turn, you can see that my head is, my chin is tilted a little bit, right? Which is fine. Okay, just as long as our body is not moving right or moving left, okay? Just head, head stay centered and just rotate, okay? These are the two exercises that will help you get a better upper body rotation. 
Now we're going to move on to our lower body. Our lower body plays a big role in starting our downswing and create the power to hit the ball far, all right? So the lower body plays a really important role. I'm going to start off with some exercises that will help you to rotate the lower body better. It's really simple. Let's get started. So number one, you can hold on to your iron like this. Okay, I would like for you to keep one leg straight and put the other foot behind your knee. Okay, let's say this is my right foot. I'm going to put my feet just right behind my left knee. And from here, try to stable yourself, open up your hip. Just rotate the hip. Try to keep the upper body steady and just rotate your hip, okay? Just do it on both sides, okay? Maybe 10 on each. Again, anytime, anywhere, okay? If you can balance yourself, let's challenge yourself a little bit. Just get into a five iron position, okay? Keep one leg straight. Put your right foot behind. Just try to rotate, okay? Try to rotate. So you gotta focus and keep breathing, okay? Just do it on both sides. Just rotate your hips, okay? All right. So in the next exercise will be a really simple exercise. You see a lot of people doing it before they tee off or they use a buggy or something to hold on to try to stretch out the hips, okay? Okay, so now I would like for you to hold on to your club like that. Try to get yourself into this position. All right, and just open up your hip. You're gonna feel a stretch all the way down here. Try to just focus on the hip, stretch it out as much as you can. Start with doing it really slow and keep breathing, okay? And then after that, you can do it a bit faster. All right, so we have the next exercise, the two upper body exercise, two lower body exercise. It won't take you too much time. Just do it anytime you can, anywhere. Okay, so now I have one last exercise that will help you or make the body understand how a good body rotation actually feels, okay? So I would like for you to get into a setup position. Again, palms up, elbows down, okay? Get into a golf position, like golf swing position. From here, some of us try to turn and we have trouble trying to turn, right? Or when we take our back swing, we get stuck here then we start lifting our body. So one reason is also because of our neck issue as well. So I would like for you to get, get your club like this, just hold it like that. All right, from here, I'm gonna rotate my hip. I'm gonna open up my hip, open up my chest. Some people get stuck over here. From here, I would like for you to look behind you. Look up into the sky, or look up into the, into the ceiling, wherever you are. Okay, you can do it on both sides. Okay, just try to get a feeling of how a good body rotation actually feels and look so here keep turning look back that will help you achieve more turn all right that is just to educate the body on how it actually feels when you have a good back swing or good down swing not doing it in your actual golf swing right i'm not asking you to look at your club head on the actual back and actual back swing so this is just an exercise all right just do it as much as you can just get the body to understand what you want it to do all right guys that's all i have for today I know that we all have an idea on how the body should be rotating but we do not know what is restricting us. So I hope that this video will help you achieve a better rotation, have more fun on the golf course and of course do not cause any injury to the body alright. So if you guys do like this video give me a like, if you have any questions leave me a comment and I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible and see you guys again soon.